you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week and I'm gonna be trying a game that was often mentioned that uh, wasn't working on the previous version of uh, Bleemsync and that is and that is Tomb Raider 2 we're gonna test it here with Bleemsync 1.0 and this is version 1.3 if uh, that makes a difference, actually. And you saw there that I had a lot of uh, bin files for this one. And um, yeah, so this had demos, I guess. So, so far it's loading, but uh, as far as I remember, it would also load anyway, up until you actually start a game. So. We'll see here now that um, if it loads on the actual gameplay itself or not. Okay, let's see what happens. So, I'm not really sure what's the difference between 1.0, 1.3, stuff like that. And as you can see, it's loading now. Um, Tomb Raider fans would be happy, I bet, but this is just Lara's house and I'm just trying to get acquainted with the controls again. Anyway. And uh, as, um, as you saw, I don't really load the game in the stock emulator. I load everything from RetroArch. That's just a personal preference. Um, but if this thing is working on RetroArch, I suppose there's no reason for it not to work on the regular emulator on the Bleem. Um, I'll give it a try next time because I just really prefer loading the game directly on the um, USB drive just for my convenience actually and okay that's enough of this let's go to the actual game itself now and let's see if it loads yeah cutscenes are loading but yeah, as mentioned, this was loading before. It's just in the actual game that it wouldn't load. We just get like a black screen. But it looks good. Um, so far, at least. And all its grainy glory. Oh, look at that. Low resolution power. I don't know. Some may hate it, but it's not... At least it's not fuzzy or something. Let's go ahead and try putting in... Uh, um, what do you call it? Scan lines. screen overlay, display overlay, overlay, default scan lines. There you go, much better. It actually might appear different when I like upload the video. Uh, the scan lines may not be in its proper positions, but if um, you know, if you have this thing and you enable its scan lines, it really looks good. Alright. I admittedly cannot remember where I'm supposed to go. So look, Tiger. I've been playing the... Uh, I've been playing the first game over and over, at least first few levels. 
that's uh, I've forgotten this one. This one, Tomb Raider 2, uh, I believe, where it reached its uh, ma gained its massive popularity. And you'd see it, it um, the graphics actually look way, way better than the first one. All right, then I'm supposed to go there, I think. But anyway, as you can see, yeah, it works on uh, the PlayStation Classic, Tomb Raider 2, ladies and gentlemen. How do I, oh there, where am I supposed to go? There or here? Obviously not here. And uh, just a tip, I guess, if you don't like having like lots of uh, bin files, uh, how about you try loading in the PBP file, like the PSV version, version the eBoot. I believe that should work as well. Or maybe the um, the ISO file. That should work, although I no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it should work, yes, but I haven't tried it. Um, most of my, actually, all of them, are in the bin queue format, so I'm not able to. I mean, I don't even have a ISO file, so I can't try anything. What's this? What's this? Uh huh. It's just a secret. Another tiger. Of course, your enjoyment for this game will probably be tied to your uh, nostalgic value for it. I mean, the newer Tomb Raiders are actually great, I admit. But if you have fond memories of this one, I'm sure you'll have a good time as well. Sometimes, though, it's just uh, quite uh, challenging if uh, you don't have a guide um, I'm supposed to fall here I think did I go the wrong way Oh, it's been so long. I think I was in uh, high school when I was playing this game. And I was playing it actually on the PC. And um, the benefits of uh, on the PC is that you're able to play it on a higher resolution. But higher resolution doesn't mean it's actually better automatically because uh, looking at this right now it's smoother than I remember so maybe I just have a crap uh, video card well actually video cards was wasn't uh, the norm back then and if you had one you're probably really like a big-time PC gamer anyway uh, that's it. This is to show you Tomb Raider 2 works perfect on the PlayStation Classic. And I'll be trying out more games soon. You're watching 8-bit days a week. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.